cue the sad music. There comes a time in every man's life where he must open up his purple diary, look himself square in the face and ask which pages he wants to continue writing in this journal that we call life. That was actually pretty good. For three years now, travel vlogs have been my life. But as Nelly Furtado once said, all good things must come to an end. Team Get Lost, it is time for us to find our new path. Will it be in music? Maybe in gaming? Here we go, let's do it. Sharp. Watch out, watch out, we got campers, we got campers. I said behind you. Or could it be the highly demanded beauty and lifestyle? Good morning guys. After you begging me for the millionth time, it was about time that I finally showed you my daily skincare rituals. So, without further ado, let's see the products that I literally can't live without. Please do not unsubscribe just yet. Wait till you actually hear what is going on with the channel because I think it's gonna be, for the most part, something that excites everyone. You know, if you enjoyed that little overly dramatic intro, leave the video a big thumbs up because I spent a bit too much time filming that. With that being said, we are sticking to travel and we're actually doubling down on it. Travel is the thing that I absolutely love. It brings so much joy to my life and it's been incredible to see how it's been able to impact you guys. It's been able to help you guys plan trips, save money, see new places, and for those of you that actually don't get to travel yourselves, it allows you to see a different side of the world or a different way of thinking that you never once knew even existed and that's truly what motivates me to make these videos now one of the things I preach the most is that you have to make videos about something you are passionate about and when you do that it translates into everything you do the way you talk the way you are on camera and it will in turn help you be more successful in that field I just realized something I actually installed something yesterday let's turn it on my anaconda don't not bad hey now with the 50 lens it looks even better I love it, it's beautiful. Now I've been making travel vlogs for about three years now and I started off on a camera like this one, moved up to a camera like this one, and today I use a camera that looks a little bit like, like that one. This is a lot harder than I expected, but thank you for the beautiful palette, Katzi. I have experienced the full spectrum from the entry level to the now professional and with that being said some of my best videos have actually been filmed on this guy right here and on my G7X. The reason is because the best video is actually not decided by the equipment it's decided by the story and story is going to be a key word in this video here today because it is the thing that we're going to be diving into in the rebrand, the facelift, the Loss of Blanc 2.0. All my future content will be honed in on building a story, telling a travel tale, a travel moment, and really getting into it. I want things to be raw and real, just like they are on the road. With that being said, you know, I love to have high quality cinematics. I'm not about to get rid of that. I love the beautiful drone shots, the 4K, slow motion, whatever this camera can provide, I love it. But the one thing that I really want to reinforce is that this channel moving forward will be just like absolutely about telling a story. There's a reason people decided to watch me when I first started as a travel vlogger with this camera right here, and it's because they liked the story. Now, I'm not one to hide criticism. In fact, I actually embrace it. I love it when you guys leave really healthy feedback about the channel, about the content that's being posted, and one of the feedbacks, one of the criticisms I probably receive the most is that people don't really want to see so much luxury travel. They want to see the old backpacker Christian who had a GoPro, who had a great story, because that is typically how most travelers travel. They don't travel with these beautiful five-star hotels. To anyone who's had that criticism, who's left a comment, who's had a thought of that sort, I want to say thank you for being here still. If that's you, then I think you'll be very excited about this rebranding, about this new slight adjustment in our direction because there's going to be a lot more budget-friendly travels, how to travel experiments, and showing you what it's like to show up in an airport with $100 in your pocket, how far can we make it last. I want to get raw and real with it, but of course still maintaining those beautiful cinematics, the drone shots, to make it a production, a beautiful story. Now that's not to say luxury is totally gone. 
I enjoy doing the luxury side because there is an audience for that and personally it's a lot of fun to do every now and then. It's a cliche saying too much of anything is a bad thing and it goes with luxury travel as well so definitely expect to see it from time to time but it's not going to be the focus of the channel because I want the channel to be about the community, Team Get Lost, how they can go out, experience their own travel adventures whether it be in Southeast Asia, South America, how they can do it affordably or on a mid-sized budget, how they can see the best that the countries have to offer and everything in between. This is what it's all about. I want to explain to you guys what the real change is going to look like because so far all I've said is that hey we're no longer doing travel vlogs but we're changing. So let's dive into educational teacher Christian. Psh. Class is now in session. Now typically one of my vlogs would look a little bit like this. You've got me saying good morning guys it's time to start our vlog. From there I crack a dad joke stage two. That's how you know it's a good Lost LeBlanc vlog. From there you got stage three which is some blue ass water. Don't make me say. Do you see that water? This water. Yo, come check out how blue this water is. Fourth is usually saying goodnight, goodbye guys, and let's get lost again in the next one. Now this is the typical vlog format that you'll see on YouTube. I'm not the only one that followed it. Maybe there was a few more dad jokes in mind than the average person, but this is kind of a vlog. It's a chronological order of your day from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed. It's great. It's worked for me for three years, but here's the thing. There's only so much blue ass water you can, you can look at. Eventually you're like, I've seen every shade of blue. It doesn't necessarily have the most compelling storyline. It doesn't have an introduction of a problem. It doesn't have a resolution. In fact, sometimes it can feel actually a little meaningless. And so I want to introduce, without further ado, the brand new Lost LeBlanc format. <laughs> and here is Lost LeBlanc 2.0. Now, if any of you guys have been through film school or your writers by trade, then you've probably seen something very, very similar before. It's the story arc. Essentially, it goes a little bit like this. You've got your introduction where you should essentially be introducing some sort of a problem, a mission, something that the video is about. From there, the entire video should be about accomplishing that mission or that thing that you set out to do to overcome the challenge of only having $100 in Bali. Whatever the video is about, it needs to have a purpose. Now, from there, I'm going to stay true to Lost LeBlanc. We gotta have some straight fire dad jokes. Number three, we're gonna overcome our obstacles. We're gonna keep working towards whatever the video started about. We're gonna have obstacles, of course, challenges, the difficulties that occur while traveling. I wanna share with you the real grind of being a traveler. Make no mistake, this is a guide to how I make videos, but it doesn't mean that it's going to be this polished TLC video. It's going to be a real travel video. It's gonna share with you the grind of travel, the difficulties, and with that, we're we're gonna try to get through those obstacles. Sometimes we actually might not be able to, but I wanna share with you what it's like to be with me on the road. From there, we're gonna to go to the, passes it to the man, shoots it, and boom goes the dynamite. This is the climax where the purpose of the video has been fulfilled. Okay, great, thanks a lot for that look in the sports, Brian. Yeah. Whether we failed or succeeded, it doesn't really matter because these are unpolished, real travel videos, but they're with a mission. And it's a matter of figuring out, can we accomplish that mission? Can we accomplish that goal or not? And then from there, we've got stage five, which is uh, subscribe to my channel, buy my merch, and let's get lost again in the next one. And that's why I'm offering a once in a lifetime 50% off discount code for HG oven grill and barbecue cleaner. You're welcome. Now, what does this all mean for you? If you've either been a subscriber in the past, you're presently subscribed, or you've considered subscribing, well, let me break it down for you in this way. In the past, my videos have just been me traveling and sharing things as I see them on the road. That's why they've sometimes lacked a bit of a storyline. Now, with this very minor but significant change in the way I'm going to be filming, it now means that I'm actually going to be traveling for the purpose of seeking that story, of telling that story. I'm moving away from just sharing things that I see while traveling to now traveling for the purpose of sharing things with you. It's a very subtle differentiation, but the overall feel of the videos should be a little bit different because of it. Whether it's inspiring someone to pick up their bag and go traveling for the first time, whether it's teaching somebody how to travel Bali on a budget, whether it's going to a country that I've never even been to and really immersing myself in a new culture, there needs to be a purpose behind the travel. On paper, it doesn't sound like a big change, but I know that it's going to make a much more entertaining and enjoyable viewing experience for you. The thing 
thing that I've seen time and time again is that it's not about the most beautiful shots, it's not about who has the most expensive camera, it's about the moments that happen in between when you're in a hostel spending $5 a night and you meet somebody from Zimbabwe and they share their point of view with you, or that person from Thailand invites you to come out with their family and go for dinner. It's always been about the story, it's the thing that I preach to every filmmaker and it's the reason that it's time for me to take my own advice and really get hyper focused in on what matters most, the story. I love you guys. So not only are we going to be focusing on the story, but there's going to be a focus on you. I really want to get you involved in these videos, whether it means you can take place in voting on the different activities we do, or whether it means that I literally come visit you in your hometown. I want this to be the next season of Lost LeBlanc, where I get to know the subscribers that have made this channel what it is today, one on one. I want to have those personal interactions, and one of the greatest blessings has been seeing this channel grow, but the reverse side of it is that it's been harder to keep up with the numerous people that come in every day. And although it'll never be fully possible to know every single one of you super well, one on one, I want to do my best part to get to know at least a few of you that way. So there's going to be different chances for you to potentially come travel with me, for me to come visit you. I want to leave you with this. Whether you're watching this video as subscribed, as not subscribed, or maybe you even unsubscribed at some point, I would challenge you to hit that subscribe button right now. Unless you're already subscribed because then you'll unsubscribe and that's not what I'm trying to do here. But give me your time for the next video when it's posted. I think that you're going to be very excited about it. I believe it'll be a great first sample of the future direction of this channel. So there is one more thing that I wanted to share with you guys. It's something that I've never committed to you here on YouTube and it is the word that I'm a little bit scared to repeat, schedule. I am guaranteeing you one video a week every single Saturday unless I am horribly ill, in which case I'll post it on Twitter. I'll let you guys know if there's something going out of plan. One of the best ways to explain the benefits of this change is with a graph. Assuming limited manpower as I have myself, being a very small production house, Basically, you're looking at the constraints of being just a few people on a team. And so, right here we've got the quantity over quality scale. If you were to put out six videos a week, then your quality would fall somewhere down here towards the frowning face. If you do five videos a week, you come out to here, drop down to a very meh face. Not disappointed, but meh quality. What we're trying to do here is by having one video a week guaranteed, potentially more some weeks. We're going to guarantee that the quality will be nothing but the best. Every time you watch one of my videos, you know that you're going to get a high quality, high caliber video that was worth your click, worth your valuable time. And that right there is going to be one of the secret sauces that allow us to get you the best videos possible. Guys, I'm really excited to be on this journey with you. It's a challenge that is honestly a little daunting for me. It's a commitment I'm making to you that scares me a little bit, but it's that same challenge that I'm so excited for. For. It's what drives me to create new, better content, and I'm just glad you're here for the journey. Sorry to beat the dead horse, I'm a bit of an animal lover myself, but as always, click the bell button, hit the subscribe button, and as always guys, let's get lost again in the next one on Saturday. There he is beating that dead horse! Get him!